Today we are welcoming astronaut Andrew Feustel and his wife Indira Feustel to the U.S. Embassy in Prague. We are honored to welcome you in the Czech Republic. Uh, this has uh, already been your second visit here. Could you please tell us how come both of you are so supportive of space research in the Czech Republic? Well, we just want to say thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. We we do enjoy our visits, and uh, it's important for us, we feel, to share the stories of space and space exploration, both in the United States and other countries where possible. And uh, as we have some relations here, uh, we felt it was important to come back and uh, support the education and awareness of space and science and technology in the country. Everybody here is excited about the little malls that traveled uh, to the space with you. It has now become a phase of a program that aims to promote science and technology among uh, young people. Do you have any suggestions uh, what we could do more to inspire the young generation to study science and technology? Well, I think this is a good start, and I hope that uh, the younger generations are interested now and excited about space and that they've learned something uh, from our visit and from the journeys of uh, Kurtek de Mole. And uh, so we just hope to promote that and find that, uh, that they will continue to be interested and that we can excite their imagination as they, as they grow up and think about their future careers. During your present visit, Norman Eisen, the U.S. Ambassador in Prague, together with the Chairman of the Academy of Sciences of the Czech Republic, Mr. Drahoš, launched the Junior Ambassadors of Science and Technology program for young students. Uh, you are invited to co-chair this program. What is the basic idea behind that? Well, the basic idea, as you said, was to promote science and uh, engineering and technology among the youth and, and, and start individuals to think about, uh, get them started thinking about their career and whether science uh, is important to them or they could be involved in the future in some uh, potentially space exploration or manufacturing or, or whatever it is that interests them. Uh, so this program is designed to um, attract kids at an early age uh, in the 10 years old and, and, and 11 and 12, the early age, maybe even a little younger, to get them to think about science and ultimately provide some opportunities for them to have uh, direct contact with companies uh, that are uh, doing science and technology and, and have a need in the future for those type of students as they grow up and become engineers and scientists. After 30 years, the U.S. Space Shuttle program was retired. Uh, what are your personal plans? Uh, will you stay with the NASA, even so the U.S. at this point doesn't have uh, its own space vehicle to fly? Well, we look forward to the future of space exploration, and we hope that the United States, and we plan that the United States will have its own vehicle again uh, in the near future to travel not only to the International Space Station, but eventually to the moon and on to Mars. And uh, uh, we're just happy to remain a part of the astronaut office and support those endeavors as we, as we move forward and, and look for new ways to explore space. Indira, I would like to ask you uh, and thank you for being the driving uh, force behind uh, bringing Katek to space. I know that you have been closely following uh, the unfolding of the program here in the Czech Republic. What are your impressions? Um, thank you for having us here. We are uh, absolutely enjoying our time here. Um, my impressions are that uh, we live in a very global world and uh, and children are children everywhere you go. And what I love is to see their eyes light up when they're, you know, listening to Drew or watching the videos that he's presenting or the slides or, or see, you know, take part in um, holding Kurtek or having pictures taken with him or, or uh, the questions that they ask. They're just amazing. So you see that, um, you know, if you, get the, if you get children early, I mean, you can excite them about anything if it's done properly, you know. So it's just to find the way to get um, um, to to make science and technology really fun for for the right developmental age. And so it's just been wonderful. It's been great seeing everybody. Andrew, uh, your pronunciation of the word Kurtek has received a lot of prize here in the Czech Republic. Uh, Indira uh, has helped you to train the pronunciation? Uh, certainly, she helps me with all my Czech language and, uh, and uh, I appreciate all the efforts and the praise that people have given me for, for trying to learn and communicate better in, in the home language.